Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball. Six box, half of an inner case. Random team break number one. One spot gets you two teams. No vet commons ship. Big thanks to this group of people for making this happen. Let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Doubles things up and all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it and let's randomize it. Two and a one, three times for names and teams. One, two, and three. Charles down to Charles. Two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. After three times, we got the Brew Crew down to the Nationals. All right, Charles with the Brewers, Shane with the Giants, Charles with the Diamondbacks and the Royals, Jason, you got my Dodgers, Jeremy with the O's, Shane with the Braves, Mark with the White Sox, Charles with the Yankees, Jeremy with the Tribe, Charles with the Fish, Rick T, Blue Jays, Mark, Rays, Charles has the Mets, Red Sox, Rangers, and Mariners, Jeremy with the Twins, Charles with the Phillies, Rick with the A's, Jason with the Cardinals, Charles with the Reds, Last Spot Mojo Star, so you get double last spot mojo, right? Mets and Reds are your last spot mojo stars. 60% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Jeremy with the Rockies and Tigers. Charles with the Friars. Jason with the Cubbies. Charles with the Strohs. Jeremy with the Angels. Jason with the Pirates. And Charles with the Washington Nationals. Let's get all this on one page right here. Let's sort by column B, by team. And while you're considering trades, we're going to pop open this big old case right here. I have room on the table, maybe? We did get a new monitor, so we actually have a little more room on this table here. Let's turn on my camera. Let's flip screens just for a second here. All right, so let's open this big master case, which contains two inner cases. Mike Towers wondering if there's any highlights from the last day of the draft. I'm not sure. I mean, I feel like the last few rounds of the NFL draft are all it's just uh just you're just gambling on picks. I think the first three rounds of the NFL draft, I think conventional wisdom says first three rounds, generally you can expect them to be to be starters. And then the last couple rounds or so, you know, is maybe a little more of a just taking flyers on guys. All right, we'll use that die right there. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Uh-oh, off camera, I'm gonna slide it over right here. Three, this side right here. Why is the Nick cam on? There you go. All right, so this we will save for next time. We'll put RT right there. We'll save these for random team breaks. All right, now there's 12 boxes per inner. So now we're going to see which six boxes we're going to do out of this 12 box inner. six right here, two, four, six right there. So once again, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now this side, we will save for random team two. Hey, how's it going? Kind of weird putting a two on this player right here, but 
so there's two right there, so we all know it's from the same case. Now, I don't know if there's traditional case hits in anything like this. Maybe it's not as important to keep track of it, but I don't know. We like to keep it organized like that. All right, let's flip it back to this screen right there. Let's go back to this screen right here. Not seeing any whisper of a trade. No trades, huh? Trade window closed. TWC, trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip, let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. And thanks for getting into the action. Got Kentucky Derby on right now. If you look at the break schedule, for entertainment purposes only, I've got a pick, put a put a little splash a little bit on some some longer shots. Soup and I, I want to pick soup and sandwich just because of the name. <laughs> nice. I think that's like fifty to one or something like that there. To win? Wow! Just outright win, not even place. Bold. I like that. There you go. I, I, I did not, I just put, where are my picks here? I just put like a dollar on just a handful of long shots. Bezos, 20 to 1. Mandaloon, 15 to 1. Medina Spirit, 15 to 1. Highly Motivated, 10 to 1. And Superstock, kind of like that, 30 to 1. Superstock. Just a little to win a lot, folks. <laughs> That's all, nothing too crazy. I would have done all these like, Exactas and trifectas and all that. I just didn't get around to it. Just ran out of ran out of time. I, I kinda didn't realize it either actually. It snuck up on me. So I think the the main the derby itself I think it's race 12, ladies and gentlemen. So that, I think just before, from what I read earlier this morning, just before four o'clock, three, I think so. I think it's like 3.55 or 57 or something specific like that. NBC, folks, wherever your NBC channel is. It's channel four for us out here in LA. Let's take a look at the brand new Diamond Kings. It just, see if I could maybe, yeah. it just dropped uh, yesterday. So it's a brand new release. So these are these are the commons right here. Obviously, that's gonna ship. Obviously, that's an insert, so that will definitely ship as well. But it's just only the veteran commons that will not be shipping in this. There's Jersey Kings, Harold Baines. And that, that'll go to the print the list. Here's the final printout right there. That'll go to Mark. Thanks for spending your uh, Saturday with us, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate that always. I know you have a lot of other, like the Derby, <laughs> a lot of other entertainment options, but I'm glad you have us on a screen. It's like a two screen day, folks. One screen on Jaspies, one screen on the horse racing and other sports. I think we'll have a Dodger game tonight that I'm going to watch. Maybe they can win a game. So obviously that will ship. All the rookie cards obviously ship. And there's, and this will ship. Sandy Koufax frame. These frames are pretty neat too. And some of those frames could be really short printed as well. Numbered frames. Shane Bieber having a great season thus far. And 
Adam Judge, I feel like, is getting back into the swing of things. We'll save a Babe Ruth. Even though that's a vet common. So there's a gray frame Mickey Mantle, which we'll obviously ship. So those Yankees cards, that'll be for Charles. Got randomized. The Bronx Bombers. Sanford, what's going on? Does it get crazy at Santa Anita during the Derby? During the Kentucky Derby? I don't know. <laughs> There's Christian Pache. We've got, I think he's healthy now. That'll obviously show. He, he had a groin issue, but I think he worked out at the alternate site. He's healthy, should get back in the action fairly soon. And Jesus Sanchez should be our auto. It is. Dual relic and autograph for Miami. 41 out of 99. Lamelo is going to be the starting five tonight, folks. His base silver prism just went up like $12 already. It's hashtag good for the hobby, folks. Charlotte Weber, owner of Soup and Sandwich, served on the board of Campbell Soup. Her grandfather inf in invented the formula for condensed soup. That's your pick, Thomas. Nice. Campbell's, Campbell's Soup. I mean, that, might, that might be good for Campbell's Soup. If Soup and Sandwich wins the Kentucky Derby. But Sanford, if you're talking about the, uh, I forget what they call it. Is, is it just the Santa Anita Derby? Or whenever that rolls around. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty popular weekend. It's a really fun, uh, if you enjoy horse racing, folks, that's a really beautiful track. Santa Anita. If you ever, ever have a chance to uh, visit Southern California and you're a horse racing fan, you got to check out Santa Anita, got to check out Jaspies, and then maybe pop down to Del Mar. Although they're different seasons, I think. They're not, they don't go on at the same time, but two trips. And Del Mar might even be more beautiful. It's right near, right near the ocean, where the surf meets the turf. Is what they say in Del Mar. Santa Anita was uh, was Sea Biscuits home. So there's a there's a great um, there's a great Sea Biscuit statue. In Santa Anita, it's really nice. air out of that bag there. And we've got a nice frame of Babe Ruth. Nice one for Charles and the Yankees. Wait, wh hold on. So what's the Babe Ruth deal here out of this? Can we actually get a Babe Ruth out of here? Hobby exclusive, find two gray and one plum frame parallels. I think we've been finding those per box on average. Look for Sandy Koufax autographs and memorabilia. And look for the ultra rare short printed inserts, including blank slate, the new blackout, and street art. All right, I like the sound of that. I think they just put Babe on the front just to put Babe on the front. So all of those inserts obviously will ship. And all the frames, of course, will ship. So the owner of Soup and Sandwich family owns Pace, Pepperidge Farms, and Swanson. And she's on the board for Campbell's Soup. Nice. It's pretty solid. This must be... That's the aficionado insert right here. 
And there's Josh Fleming, dual relic and autograph for Tampa Bay. That's going to go to Mark. <laughs> That's right, Mike Tower. When I think Babe Ruth, I think street art. Sean saying, Sean Doty saying, your six-year-old's obsessed with the Sandlot now. Wants to watch it all the time. That's a good one. Remember that that uh, dog terrifying me when I was when I watched that when I was a wee lad. Ty Cobb, gray frame to the Tigers, Jeremy. And there's Eloy Jimenez, two color, dual relic. Is there a number on this? No, not numbered. Going to the White Sox, Mark. There's a legacy lithograph, Trevor Hoffman. For the Padres. Charles. Charles Hoffer with Hoffman. Nice. All right, next box. Box three of six here in Diamond Kings Baseball Random Team 1. This is our first look at Diamond Kings. It dropped yesterday, but we did not do a break of it, so I'm happy to see it here today. I always, I always like the artwork. I think that old sort of watercolor type design I think is nice. The cardstock is kind of a matte finish, which I enjoy. I feel like the price point isn't too crazy, right? It's a little bit friendlier than some other baseball breaks. And, uh, and they, they usually put some nice hits in here. It's usually good for a good, a good surprise or two. Where you're like, oh, that guy, huh? That's a nice hit. Sanford remembers back in the day when, when you couldn't get Koufax on anything. Well, now, now he is, I guess. He's, that's what we're supposed to be looking for. Jason Siebert has the Dodgers. I don't think he'd mind a Koufax auto. As a Dodger fan, I wouldn't mind pulling one. We've got a Pete Rose. Those, that must be the plum frame right there. Like every time I flip these cards around, they're gonna go the other way. <laughs> we need Brian Hayes to get back into the action. There's a Bobby Dalbeck frame. It's a pretty solid rookie. Killed it in the spring. Nice Walter Johnson. Christian Javier pitching really well. There's a Yogi Berra frame. I like these frames. And Randy Arzarena, Jersey Kings, relic for Tampa Bay. Mark. Remember, gang, we are, there is still a top loader shortage around the world. So we've been having to use larger top loaders for some cards. We're putting a blue painter's tape right here so it doesn't rattle around during shipping. But if, if it happens to be missing the blue tape or if you're taking it off and putting in a different top loader or whatever, just be careful. Be careful that it doesn't slide right out on you. And we've got David Peterson. And 
that looks like that's a, a Met, right? Judging from the, the colors here. Yeah, he's a Metropolitan. And that'll be for Charles. Well, Charles has both the Yankees and the Mets, so it'll be easy. Next one. Inside saying, wondering, I wonder what will happen to Edwards and Halliburton card prices after tonight. Well, I think. I don't know. Are, are they. Are LaMelo and Edwards and Halliburton prices all connected to each other? I think as long as uh, as long as Halliburton is playing well, I think his cards will continue to to go up. Same with Edwards as well. Next box. Good luck. We got Nick Madrigal, two color, dual relic for the White Sox. That'll be for Mark. We got a Cabrian Hayes, gray frame. Need Cabrian Hayes to come back healthy and strong. Jason Siebert with the Pirates. It's Isaac Paredes. And Cabrian Hayes, dual relic and autograph. Nice one, Pirates. That's going to go to Jason Siebert. Now Jason really wants Cabrian Hayes to come back strong. I feel like he had a little setback with, with a wrist injury or something like that, but I think he's working his way back, maybe back soon, if not already. I feel like I would have heard, but I don't know. He needs to get back and finish the season strong. All right, two more to go. The second half of this inner case is in the store right now, ladies and gentlemen. One spot gets you two teams in a six box break. So give it a go. Pretty good value. I think I just saw that Medina Spirit is at 12 to 1 now. I got Medina Spirit at 15 to 1. Bargain.
think it matters if I keep these right side up or upside down. Excuse me. Good luck, everybody. Second to last box. Got another Babe Ruth frame here for Charles and the Bronx Bombers. And we got Rod Carew, Jersey Kings. California Angels edition going to Jeremy and the Halos. Jaspi should buy a race for us. Thomas says yes. Thomas, the Big Hit Express. Ooh, ooh, that man. Secretariat, who? Watch out for Big Hit Express. Look at this Bo Bichette downtown card, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty nice. This is what this is what downtown Toronto looks like. Apparently, it's got a big maple leaf, a totem pole. It looks like a, some sort of flat iron building here. A couple pine cones. A, a, a beaver chewing on some wood. There's a story I read in Canada where in a small town, a, a beaver had chewed through some uh, internet cables, some fiber optic cables, knocked out internet to that town of uh, less than a thousand people, knocked internet out for 12 hours. <laughs> Come on, these little guys. Just causing troubles. Mounted police right here. There you go. Toronto, Rick Thomas with the Blue Jays. Gets the nice down, love those downtown cards. Maybe those are one per case, one per inner case? I don't know, we'll find out when we work through all of these boxes. And there's Brady Singer. Dual relic and autograph for the Royals for playing some good baseball. Charles with Kansas City. All right, last box. Good luck. I guess this, this break is a little bit faster than I originally thought on this on the schedule. About 30 minutes into this break, I had carved out an hour for this break, but maybe it's really, by the time I print labels, and maybe it's only 45 minutes. Anyway, we're a tiny bit ahead of schedule. It's all good. There's the puppy predict predictors that Mike was talking about earlier. <laughs> it's 
pretty funny. You got Brady Singer again. Oh, just a friend. Yeah, that's what that's what the schedule is. About stuff that's full and that's about to rip. Yeah, we don't pre-plan breaks. The schedule's for, for breaks that are already sold out, Matt. So everything's spontaneous. We just fill and rip. I just keep track of it, that's all. Alec Baum, dual relic and autograph. That's very nice. Phillies, Charles. Yeah, we don't schedule breaks, ladies and gentlemen. It's all spontaneous. It's all up to you what gets filled up. Not me. Shane Beaver, frame, is playing pretty well. Got Jesse Winker. Nice, that's out of 25. A bit heavier card stock there. Seven out of 25. Two color, dual relic. Must be from one of their, their uh, spring training St. Patrick's Day jerseys there. Charles with the Reds, last spot mojo. Is that numbered? Yes, the Tris Speaker is numbered. And we've got a Dylan Carlson frame. The Tris Speaker will go to uh, the Red Sox. It's gonna go to Charles. And anything else to close this break out? Blank card, Garrett Cole, Alec Baum, and Josh Fleming. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice first look at Diamond Kings Baseball. The second half is in the store. Nice Cabrian Hayes. So some pretty solid stuff. Go and get it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you next time for the next break. And uh, stick around with us for the uh, Kentucky Derby, too. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time.